Hello and welcome to day one of our pelvic floor focus series through this month. Today I have for you a yin yoga class focused on deep hip release. So let's just begin today on our backs, finding a comfortable position, lying with a neutral spine, just taking a few moments here to take inventory of how we're feeling before we get started today. Noticing any areas of tension or stiffness within the body, areas of pain or discomfort, emotional energy. Notice the state of your mind and your emotions. And then begin to notice the natural rhythm of the breath. Following each inhale and each long and slow exhale. And whenever you're ready, gently begin to draw that right knee in towards the chest, maybe moving it side to side a little, just beginning to lubricate that joint, loosen up the stiffness. And then when you're ready, go ahead and grab the outside of that foot or the big toes maybe with your peace fingers. Begin to extend that leg out toward the side, drawing that knee down towards the mat taking a single leg happy baby. Be sure that both sides of the hips and the back are staying grounded to the mat here, that you aren't lifting up. And again, begin to draw deeply into that breath, drawing that breath into the dantian, that space between the belly button and the pubic bone. Exhaling fully and slowly with each exhale. every inhale, just notice how that breath affects the sensations happening as the breath expands through the belly like a balloon, stretching those areas where the fascia is maybe restricting. All right, gently release that right leg now, taking it to the other side. Just first drawing that left knee in toward the chest, maybe moving it a little side to side. Just waking up that hip joint, noticing any differences on this side from the first side. Then when you're ready, once again, grab the outside of that foot or the big toe with your peace fingers and begin to find your way into that single leg happy baby. Drawing that knee down towards the mat the low back, both hips are grounded here. Inhale, inviting relaxation into the body. And exhale fully and slowly, letting it all go, surrendering here. This hip and pelvic area that we are targeting today is an area that we commonly store difficult emotions. So as we are going throughout this practice, if difficult emotions arise or surprise you, just remember to come back to the anchor of the breath, not getting lost in any thoughts that come up, simply noticing them, allowing the emotions to release as they need to but maintaining leadership over your thoughts and emotions by staying focused on that anchor. When you're ready, go ahead and grab that right foot once again, finding our way into our full happy baby now. So beginning with the knees and the chest, grabbing the outsides of those feet, or maybe further down on the calves or the legs, if that's easier for you today. Then draw those knees, down and out towards the mat, being sure that that low back is flat here. Now, if it's lifting up at all, then you may want to grab on the calves instead of the feet. This practice is focused on this pelvic floor area, so 
We want to make sure we have the right alignment here, that we are being sure that low back is staying flat, that we're engaging those deep core muscles properly throughout our poses, so that we're practicing good form and alignment to build this foundational strength and stability within our bodies. Inhale deeply, mindfully as you scan throughout the body. As you exhale, let go of anything that isn't serving you in this moment. Any tension, thoughts, worries, anything you've been holding on to that you don't need any longer that's not serving you. We have less than a minute left here, so I'm going to leave you in silence to practice getting out of the mind and going into the body. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and gently release the feet. Just finding a neutral position on the back once more. Taking just a moment, maybe pausing the video if you want a little extra time here in your rebound. But when you're ready, go ahead and turn over onto your left side and then meet me in tabletop for our next pose. So coming to the hands and knees, making sure the hips are aligned just above the knees, shoulders above the wrists. Take an inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and gently step your right foot forward to the front of the mat. Finding about a 90 degree angle with both the front and the back legs here. Then we're going to inhale, finding length in the spine, tucking those tailbone under, pulling the belly button into the spine. As you exhale, interlace those hands onto the knee and round through the upper back chin coming toward the chest. So here we are trying to target our psoas and hip flexor muscle, this area that runs from the inner thigh through the hip flexor area and around our back to the spine. So stretching this area can be really important to manage low back pain or pelvic pain. Also when this area is too tight, it may prevent those deep core muscles from engaging properly. So releasing this area can be really important for that. So go ahead and inhale again, feeling that Dantian space. And exhale fully and slowly, releasing your muscles as you allow the body to surrender deeper here, creating space for that fascia to release. On your next exhale, go ahead and release the hands, finding a tall spine once more. And then we're going to begin just slowly scooting that front foot further forward so the hips can sink a little further down. But be sure to make sure that you still have that tailbone tucked under, that belly button pulled into the spine, creating the straight line through the low back here. Then from here, Begin to twist at the belly button, reaching that left arm toward the right foot and perhaps leaning forward a bit into this. So we're going deeper into that low back and hip muscle on the left side. Begin to just breathe deeply here, maybe taking some micro adjustments, moving just slightly forward or back, up or down, playing around with the positioning until you feel the areas in your body that are asking for attention till you figure out how this pose best serves you and settle into that stillness, using that breath to take you deeper.
Inhale deeply and exhale fully, letting everything go that you don't need right here, right now. All right, when you are ready, we are going to take our last variation of our lunge pose on this side. So begin to untwist the body now. Then from the same lunge position, we're going to begin to just heel toe that right foot toward the outer edge of the mat and allow that knee to fall away, rolling the foot toward the pinky toe edge. And here you can stay up on your hands Maybe move side to side, up or down a little bit. Again, just feeling out this pose first. And then settle in wherever feels best for you today. Maybe staying up in the hands, maybe coming down to the elbows or resting onto a prop like a pillow or bolster. And again, just notice the areas being targeted here. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, release any tension you notice yourself holding, letting go of resistance in order to sink deeper. Wonderful job, my friends. When you are ready, go ahead and gently step your way out of this lunge back into tabletop. Maybe leading with the hips as you lift the knees and press yourself into down dog. Taking just a moment to enjoy the stretch of the hamstrings. And then when you're ready with your next exhale, gently step the left foot forward this time. Again, beginning with that 90 degree angle in both the front and the back legs. Take an inhale, lengthening through the spine. As you exhale, interlace those fingers over that front knee, tucking the hips forward, hips pressing forward as the shoulders round and the chin comes toward the chest. Think about squaring off those hips by imagining slightly pulling back the left hip and pressing forward the right hip, making sure they're even, both facing equally toward the front of the mat. Notice how this hip position affects the sensation, affects where the tension is. This may begin to reveal to you some imbalances in your bodies. So go mindfully into the body here. Let's take one more deep inhale here. As you exhale fully, release the hands, lengthen the spine once more. Then begin to gently step forward, the left foot a little further, sinking the hips a bit deeper down. Being sure the tailbone is still tucked here and that we don't have an arch in that low back. Then once again, take an inhale. As you exhale, begin to twist from the belly button toward the left, right hand coming next to the left foot now taking some slight micro adjustments, playing around with the positioning, just noticing how these different variations speak to your body. Noticing what your body has to say to you as we dwell in this mindful stillness.
back to that breath. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, gently untwist the body, finding a tall spine again, and then begin heel toeing that left foot towards the outer edge of the mat, placing the hands on the floor in front of you, moving maybe side to side a little, up or down, just feeling out this pose once again. And when you're ready, go ahead and settle down, maybe onto the arms, maybe onto a bolster or prop. And breathe deeply and mindfully here. Inhaling, drawing the oxygen into those areas of stiffness. And exhaling in full surrender, releasing the resistance, allowing gravity to take you a little deeper here. Breathing through the discomfort whether it's physical, mental, emotional, just learning to meet yourself where you're at without judgment today. Great job, you guys. When you are ready, gently step your way out of this lunge again, maybe pressing back into a down dog for just a brief counter here, maybe walking out that dog, just making this feel good for your body here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and make your way back down to your mat on your back for a short rebound. Gently tuck the shoulder blades down and back. Palms are resting at the sides, facing up toward the sky. And simply feel the echo of the pose here, scanning through the body. Noticing any shifts that have begun to occur physically, maybe mentally or emotionally. Feel free to pause the video if you wish to take a little bit longer rebound. But if you're ready to go into our next pose, and go ahead and gently turn onto your left side and meet me at the center of the mat. As I demonstrate our next pose, we're going to take our yogic squat now. So starting with the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart, feet slightly turned outward. Begin to sit down into a squat as deep as you can. Maybe you can come all the way down or maybe you need to sit on a block or some kind of prop today to give you a little extra support. But wherever you're at, make sure that the feet are flat on the floor, not the heels lifting up. If they are, then maybe you need to play around with the positioning a little bit. Or like I said, sit on a prop so that you aren't sitting down quite as low, making it a little bit more doable today. So always meet yourself where you are at with compassion. You can use the elbows here. To draw those knees a little further out, going deeper into the groin and the hips. Sometimes I even like to place my palms on the floor and lean my weight forward into the elbows a bit so I can use my own body weight to deepen the stretch further. As always, don't force it. Just breathe through the tension. It will release a little at a time with patience, with mindfulness. I'm going to leave you here for about another minute to go inward, to dwell in this stillness.
All right, when you're ready, go ahead and lengthen through the spine again. If you aren't already, and let's place one hand at the center of the mat between our feet, using the elbow as we twist open, left arm reaching overhead, opening that chest up and out. Just taking a few deep and mindful breaths here as we open a little deeper through the low back, through the whole spinal cord here, and the hips. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully, let it all go. Go ahead and gently switch sides now. Other hand coming toward the center of the mat, reaching overhead, opening that chest up toward the sky, following it with your gaze. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Again, just notice the difference between the two sides while we're here. Taking note of any imbalances. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Once again, finding your way onto your back for a short rebound. Shoulder blades gently tucked down and back. Arms at the sides, palms facing up. And once again, simply feel the echo of the pose. All right, you guys, we're going to take our next asana for this I'm offering a backbend version, but if you don't have a prop to do a backbend with this, then you can just do this flat on your back as well. So if you have a prop like a bolster or a rolled blanket or pillow, we're going to place this behind our low back, our lumbar back. And we want to make sure that we're placing it so that our hips or our glutes can still stay grounded to the mat. And if they are lifting up, then we need to consider using a smaller prop. We're going to then bring the feet flat on the mat with the knees together and gently just heel toe the feet away out to the sides. The knees just resting against one another. So we're going deeper into the groin here. We're going to be in this pose for three minutes. So again, just breathe deeply. Notice what's happening in the body. Noticing any changes that have occurred since the beginning of this practice. And just enjoy these last few minutes of blissful stillness. Just one more minute here, my friends. Stay present. Keep following that breath.
right when you are ready. Go ahead and gently release the feet now, removing your prop if you have one under your back. And we're going to just finish in our Savasana. Again, gently tucking those shoulder blades down and back. Arms at the sides, or maybe overhead with palms facing up. Once more, take inventory of how you're feeling physically, mentally, emotionally. Once more, simply noticing the effects that this practice has had on you. I would encourage you to stay in a Shavasana even longer today if you have the time. But if you're ready to get on with your day and to finish with me, then with your next exhale, gently turn onto your right side this time and meet me seated at the center of the mat for our final closing breaths together. Take another deep inhale as you reach the arms up overhead, stretching the body, beginning to wake ourselves back up. And exhale, hands to prayer, heart center. One more time, inhaling, reaching the arms overhead, stretching tall. And exhale, the hands of prayer down to your third eye. May your thoughts be peaceful, lowering the hands to your lips. May your words be kind, and lowering the hands to the heart. May your life be filled with love and compassion for yourself and others. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, my friends. I truly hope you enjoyed this practice. That has aided you in some way, whether that's mentally and or physically or emotionally. If you enjoyed this class, would you please do me a huge favor and be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. These are two of the best ways that you can help support this channel, help me expand my reach, and be able to continue creating content like this for free. Thank you again for all the ways you choose to support this channel and for joining me for today's practice. I hope you have a great day, my friends, and I will see you soon. Namaste.